Okay, so for let's talk a minute about Auto X and in particular setting up for a dash jack. When we set up for a dash jack, we're gonna cut at least a couple cuts. We do those relief cuts, but to also fit our spreaders in. What'll happen is because of the plastic and the metal, the cutters, as a lot of us know, we, it will want to slide in because there's less resistance. So the tool's gonna wanna come into the crew compartment and where the occupants are. We wanna minimize that or lower the risk on them. And so what we can do is bring in a pry bar put it between the rocker and the A-post and now it has something to wedge against and now the occupants are a little bit safer and it gives us that wedge point until the cutters um, catch up. What I want to emphasize is that all the trucks and the squads carry this solid pry bar but the, and the trucks are carrying and more and more firefighters are carrying the roof hooks. What we don't want to use is the roof hook and as you can see this one's bent because it was used uh, as a pry tool. This one's hollow, this one's solid. So when it comes to utilizing this tool so that we can lessen the intrusion into the crew compartment, let's utilize the pry bar that's on all the squads and all the trucks, solid versus hollow. So when we do a relief cut on the A-post to do a dash roll or a dash jack, when we come in to cut, remember we want to avoid the hinge brackets because they're solid and they're um, reinforced steel. So we either want to go above or below, or if we need to cut up higher, we just want to avoid those two brackets because they're just reinforced and it takes the spreaders and the cutters a lot longer.